1 Timothy 4, 1-3 KJV Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving, of them which believe and know the truth. These spirits will make people go against God. These spirits will make people depart from the truth, and they will follow the wrong doctrines. These spirits will bring forth the doctrines of the devil, and they will bring it for the people to accept. Unfortunately, many Christians have fallen into this. These Christians followed these seducing spirits. People have gone into these doctrines, the doctrines that do not glorify God. The doctrines that accept going to sorcerers or some people calling themselves healers. These doctrines have allowed many so-called Christians to go into occult groups. Christians are getting lost in these New Age beliefs. Christians have started to conform to the world. And the reason for this is because of seducing spirits. Christians have started to conform to the world. The Bible tells us not to do this. Romans 12.2 KJV and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We are not to follow the patterns of this world. You need to protect yourself from this world. The thing you need to know about seducing spirits is that they have been around longer than you and I, and they can deceive you. Their methods are tried and tested. The devil has been in the business of deception long before you were created. This is a fact. This is the truth. Anyone can fall into the trap of seducing spirits. The mighty are falling. The strong are falling into the deception of these seducing spirits. People who have been Christians longer than you and I are falling, and you know it from the different stories of people and pastors going the wrong way. People are falling because the spirits are seducing people and the New Age beliefs are taking over. These beliefs are promising some good things. These promises are not true. You need to know this. Know how you are living your life. So how can I ensure I won't fall into the deception of these seducing spirits? How can I move safely in the spirit world? 1. Use the Word of God. This is the first thing that you need. The psalmist says that this Word of God is light. You cannot call yourself a Christian and throw away what serves as a light to your path. You will get lost. You will be easily swept away without the word of God. You will be easily seduced and follow the doctrines of the devils. They will come and will make you fall into their traps because you don't have the light you need. Psalm 119, 105 KJV The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word of God is your protection from deception. People can change and begin to follow seducing spirits. Churches can change and begin to follow seducing spirits, but the Word of God will remain the same. The Word of God will not change to fit the culture. Follow the Word of God, not a man. Follow the Word of God. Even if an angel comes in front of you and you see that angel in all its beauty and all its holiness, if that angel comes before you and tells you to do anything contrary to the Word of God, don't follow that angel, and follow the word of God. Galatians 1.8 But though ye, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. How can I travel safely through the spirit world? Follow the word. Know the word of God. Do you think you can move a step safely without the word of God? Do you think you can get everything right yourself without the word of God? You need to know what you are doing. Seducing spirits are waiting for you. The psalmist saw the word of God as a light that can guide them and keep them from the seducing spirits. If they come to deceive you, you have the word of God to check. Look at the word of God. Is that what God is saying? Is that what God wants you to do? Verify everything with the word of God. Look into the word of God carefully and keep it with you because you will need it any time. The word is a guide. You will need it. Timothy 3.16-17 KJV All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, 
thoroughly furnished unto all good works. God gave you his word so that you can use them. This world is a brutal place. You will fall if you are walking in darkness. The devil will do everything to change the path you are walking. You need to open your eyes. Open your eyes. You are on the battlefield. This world is spiritual. Everything you do, you are being monitored. Walk with the word of God in you and use it all the time. 2. Submit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. One of the effective ways to resist the devil is to submit to the leading of Jesus Christ. If you want to move safely in the spirit world, allow Jesus to lead you. Just submit to him. Jesus will lead you the right way. If the world is going the wrong way, if everyone is following the wrong path, Jesus will lead you on the right path. With Jesus, you are safe. There is nothing that can snatch you out of Jesus. He keeps you in his heart. Nothing can go there to snatch you. When you allow Jesus to lead you, you will never allow any spirit to lead you except for the Holy Spirit. People who choose to stand firm in Jesus Christ are the ones that the devil cannot succeed over. You have to focus on Christ. Stop looking to the right or to the left. That is the reason why the devil is snatching through his seducing spirits. They can't stop looking to the right and to the left. Don't look to the right or left. Proverbs 4.25-27 KJV Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor the left. Remove thy foot from evil. If you submit to God, you will never look away from him because you will be waiting for his order. You will be waiting for him to lead you. You will be patiently following him. Hebrews 12, 1 through 2 KJV. Wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. How to move safely in the spirit world. The spirit world lives all around us. We live in a world not of humans alone, but a world full of humans and spirits, and the Bible tells us this clearly. 1 John 4, 1-3 KJV Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come and even now already is in the world. The world we are in is full of spiritual activities going on. There are many things that you cannot see that are happening all around you. When you are walking on the road, spiritual things are going on. When you are at work, spiritual things are going on. When you are eating, spiritual things are going on. When you get home and lay down to sleep, spiritual things are going on. The spirit world is much bigger than you and I, that realm is a realm of movement and great activity. It doesn't stop. The Bible paints a picture of the devil and his demons constantly moving to and fro on this earth. Job 1.7 And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down it. Matthew 12.43 when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. We as children of God must not be ignorant of this. We are instructed to believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. The truth is, to live in a world like this you need a guide, and that guide is the Holy Spirit. You need someone to protect you and guide your steps in this spiritual world. People are getting lost because they cannot perceive what is true and what is false. The Bible talked about seducing spirits in the world. These spirits are real. They are one of the many spirits you will find in the spirit realm. 1 Timothy 4.1 
The spirit clearly says that in later times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Seducing spirits are so real. The Bible warns us of their reality and how they will become more and more prevalent in the last days. It is so important that you are filled with the Spirit of God and that you know your Bible for yourself, so that you will not be led astray. To say it bluntly, there are churches that have been taken over by these seducing spirits, churches that have moved away from the true doctrine of Jesus Christ. I remember an email I received from a woman who told me about her testimony. She had attended the same church for over 15 years. And then a new pastor was appointed when the previous pastor retired from full-time ministry. The new pastor brought new doctrines into their church, doctrines that supported different types of immorality. When she and her husband spoke out against these new doctrines and beliefs, the pastor and the church board all turned against them. The church board was only interested in the number of new people the church was attracting and the bottom line of the church. The church board was only interested in the new profit being generated by this new pastor. Over time, the church kept and kept introducing more worldly beliefs. This lady and her husband left the church to find a solid Bible-believing church, which its foundations were built upon the teachings of the Bible. This lady spoke of how real seducing spirits are and how powerful and deceptive they are. These spirits are everywhere, and they are working tirelessly in the spiritual world to make sure you lose your path. They bring different things to you to make you fall. This is why you need to test every spirit. If you want to be safe indeed in this world that is controlled and governed by spiritual bodies, you must learn to test every spirit that comes your way.